In this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize the Witcher 3 next gen update in order to boost performance and gain more FPS easily. I'm using RTX 2060 GPU and these settings help me gain an average of 80 FPS with very impressive visuals and low stuttering compared to the Ultra Plus preset. First of all, if you have a GPU lower than RTX 3060 Ti, I recommend turning off ray tracing at all as the game will run perfectly but I must admit that ray tracing really makes the visuals stunning. If you're not planning to use ray tracing, load up the game in DX11 as it gives better performance than DX12 because from what I know, CD Projekt Red didn't implement it well and has low GPU utilization. Now in the graphics settings, I'll try discussing briefly each and every option and their impact upon performance. Starting with anti-aliasing, I noticed that FXAA gives a slightly better performance but for me, TAUU looked better, so I recommend it. Sharpening doesn't affect performance, so you can choose whatever you find better. I like to keep it low. SSAO also has low impact on performance, so leave it turned on. Screen space reflections leave it as high. Blur and motion blur won't affect performance, so choose what you like better. For me, I like keeping motion blur off. Both presets of Bloom nearly has the same performance, so I'll leave it turned on. Turn off the depth of field and turn off the chromatic aberration as it doesn't really change the visuals that much but it can affect your performance. Now these three settings are a matter of personal preference so choose what you like visually as they won't affect the FPS. Nvidia Hairworks has a good performance impact but they make Geralt look so much better so I leave it only for him with AA on 4 and the preset as high. If you're looking for more FPS, turn this off. Number of background characters has a low impact on performance but makes the game so much alive. So I leave it as ultra plus. If you want a slight improvement, leave it on medium. Shadow quality has a high impact on performance so for me I'd go with medium or high. Terrain quality on ultra plus as it really didn't affect my performance. Also the same goes for water quality. Foliage visibility range also has a high impact on performance so I recommend choosing high for a very good balance between visuals and performance. Grass density affects performance by a lot and visually they can look similar so choose medium or low for a significant boost. Texture quality on Ultra Plus is visually stunning and the impact won't be as much so go with this option. Detail level doesn't affect performance as much so I'd go with Ultra. Now in the display settings, make sure to make it full screen and turn off VSync. Also, don't cap your FPS. Now for ray tracing, turn on global illumination and you should try these three options only if you have a very powerful rig. Other than that, I recommend turning them off with just global illumination on. Set DLSS as quality for a good boost. Also, if you have RTX 40 series, I recommend turning the DLSS frame generation on. If you want to see more game guides of games you love as well as tutorials and fixes, please consider subscribing and turning on the bell so you won't miss anything. See you later.